Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to highlight a couple of uh, things that spurred on from my last video. Now if you didn't catch that video, a uh, link should pop up here. Uh, but it was all about this adapter uh, from Astronomic, which uh, enables you to use this type of filter that's designed to fit into the body of a Canon crop sensor DSLR and use it with a dedicated Astro camera. Yeah, so just to recap, um, in the last video um, I had a slight issue, I think I, I mentioned it uh, towards the end of the video uh, but I also put a bit of text up saying that I'd, I'd fix the issue so I'm going to show you that. Uh, but just to recap, the Z2BO filter drawer turned up while I was filming so I immediately uh, sprung into action and uh, screwed the adapter into the filter tray uh, and then put the one of the filters in. Um, but there was some slight protrusion which meant I couldn't actually close the filter drawer. Uh, now I loosened off slightly but there was a bit of play. I'm going to show you how I fix that. Uh, quite a simple little uh, little hack if you like. <clears throat> but there is a reason why it was doing that and um, I can't believe that I actually missed this. Um, I'm going to highlight that as well. I've stuck the filter adapter in the air. Uh, filter tray. So in the last video I used my Skytech L Pro Max and I can't believe I didn't actually use my uh, astronomic filter. Now uh, after a conversation um, with someone there uh, called uh, Simon from Simon's Astrophotography he uh, mentioned something about his Optolong EOS filter and uh, I said I can't see why it wouldn't fit in. It's the same type of filter. Um, but I sort of slept on it and, and woke up this morning and thought, well, hang on, what if thickness of the filter is a factor? I didn't mention that. And I, was, I can't believe I didn't actually try this filter. Because after all, like I mentioned, the adapter is from Astronomic. So maybe they've specifically designed this adapter for their filters. Turns out it could be right there. So I'm just going to put the Astronomic filter in here, into the adapter. It's in the filter tray. And it fits in. Now if I uh, swap this round with the Skytech filter, as uh, you saw in the other filter uh, video, got stuck. It'll it will. And you see it doesn't go in. I'm not gonna force it. I don't want to break the filter. So I suppose that brings me nicely on to my little fix. Um, what happens if you've got a different brand? It doesn't fit in. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to show you now. To fix the issue, I had to unscrew it um, about a millimetre, so it was sort of a, a half a turn, if you like. Problem was, you're getting the rattling. Um, however, I was able to put into the filter drawer uh, with the Skytech filter. We can't be having that. So how I fix this was like so. So when I got this camera, it came with all sorts of stuff. Um, a lot of these sort of plastic thin washers, and I, I've seen these in hardware stores before. To be honest, um, I'm sure I've seen them online. Um, I haven't really used them, uh, but I have sacrificed one. So what I did was I took the uh, adapter and I just used it as a template. I went around with a sort of sharp sort of crafts knife, if you like, so just be careful of that because it's a little awkward. And I ended up with uh, one with a slight haircut, so you can see the difference. So I've sort of took the middle out. What I then did was, I put it into the, around the adapter, like so, just like a normal washer with a nut. And I just screwed that in to the uh, filter tray. So once I uh, screwed that in, I put the filter in, the Skytech filter. And then, I'm just gonna put the tray like so. Sorted. Uh, there is a little bit of playroom, um, as you can see, 
So you could maybe if you need to put another washer in there, that's uh, I think that'll be fine. Um, yeah, like I said, it looks like there's plenty of room. Um, it would appear that uh, different brands have different thickness of filter. Uh, again, I'm a bit disappointed in myself. I can't believe I didn't use this astronomic filter in the last video. Uh, I would have uh, been able to highlight that straight away, um, but I didn't. Well, hopefully I've rectified that now where uh, you learn by your mistakes. I think I'll try and be more vigilant next time. So, hope this has helped. Uh, I'm going to link the two videos together, so I'm going to uh, get to the other video. Hopefully I'll be able to put another card in to link this video. Um, but yeah, uh, on that note, take care everyone, clear skies, and bye for now.